Well, happy Saturday morning to y'all out there. This is Barking Bird, and of course on Saturday, you know what that means. We stopped by Burger King. I am not sponsored by Burger King, by the way. If you want to sponsor me, Burger King, let me know. Um, we got an enormous burrito, we got a cup of coffee, and we are off to some yard sales. Uh, we've got a couple of community yard sales on the map today. Uh, the first one looks to be pretty big. It looks to be in a pretty decent neighborhood. It should be, it should be productive. Um, shouldn't be anything like last week, hopefully, but uh, we'll know more when we get out there. So that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to drive down here. I'm going to hit this thing like it's going to be the best one ever, and uh, y'all going to follow me around. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Morning. How you doing? Oh, we're doing good. Good. See the video games. Where's the Where's the video game systems? Well, it depends <laughs> on what you got. There's Xbox and there's also PS3. Yeah, but you got the You got the systems up there, or just the games? Just the games for the systems. Okay. I try not to show up early and be obnoxious. <laughs> yeah. Got one of the wheels. Oh, not everything else. Hmm? Has it, every, got, everything but? Everything except one of the wheels is missing. So there's one wheel in there. Okay. Would you take $3 for it? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Having fun yet? No, not really. Ah, come on. Well, we only learned about this by paying attention to the sign at the head of the neighborhood. Oh, jeez. Let's see what we can do. See, see if anybody give us any money. Yep. Does Atari system work? Do you know? Does this Atari system work? Uh, yes. Good morning. And everything is making an offer. I'm, I'm sorry, everything's making an offer? Making an offer. Goodness me, you don't want to hear my offers. Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, two and one. And I got a bag. You yeah. want those? Okay. Oops. Wrong one. Wrong one. Now I see. Oh, my husband's gonna happen. Take two for that. I'll take three. We'll call it good. That'll work. Okay. <laughs> okay, Google. Do I need an app for my Zoomer dinosaur? This must be a What you looking for on this thing? Uh, I need cords for that, but mm -hmm. I did look, and you can get cords. It's a Wii Two. Well, yeah, nine. 
20 bucks. Yep. He's got the docking station right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. But the docking the, station, we priced the cords, and I think it was $30 for the cords. $29.99 yeah. on Amazon for the cords. And there's already games. He's got games. So already. Yeah, when you, it's always best to reset those things, though. Oh, well, yeah. we and then, and then, then you lose the games. So, uh, we weren't would you able take, to reset take 15? It. Honey, I'll take 10. Okay. Well, if you're going to talk me down, I'll <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to keep looking around. As soon as you right. leave, I'm going to have to yeah. work on one that one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm more... I... All right. Well, here we are. It is the next day, and I've decided to film this part of it, the what we found, a little differently than normal. Kind of taking a, a clue from uh, Will World Thrift. If you haven't seen Will, get over there and see him. That's Will World Thrift on... Uh, on YouTube and he is he's uh, he's a good time he's he's a good guy and um, comes up with some good stuff especially if you like clothing um, anyway first thing I wanted to do and actually had somebody ask it might even have been will how I mount my GoPro when I go to uh, garage sales and I have changed that this weekend I got this idea from the bearded picker this is called a snap mount and it's really a whole lot better I think than using the, the backpack, or I had been clipping it on, uh, I'd been clipping it on my shirt. Do that, just like that, it goes right there. It just hangs out. It's uh, pretty simple and clean, and uh, it uh, does not get in the way of the uh, safety belt when I'm, uh, when I'm going between garage sales. So it just, it just works out real nice. You can wear it with a t-shirt, you can wear it with a uh, a polo shirt, whatever you might be using. With that said, let's get into what we found this weekend. It's, uh, it was, uh, Saturday was not really all that good. Um, in fact, it was, uh, a little weak. But, we had a good time, and we did make some money. And we'll start off with this. We've got Risk. It is new in wrapper. Um, this is from 2010, so 11 years in the wrapper. We paid three dollars for it. It'll bring about 18. Also out there, we picked up this uh, Sony DVD player. It does come with the remote. This is the Sony BDP S350. See me glancing off to the side there. That's because that's where my notes are, and I can't remember any of this stuff by myself. Uh, we paid five bucks for that. It'll go for about 35, maybe more once we get it cleaned up and tested. It has not been tested yet. It's got all the connectors back here. Um, picked up a Yamaha last week, and when I got back, I figured out it did not have the HDMI port, did not have the, uh, the standard red, yellow, white uh, uh, VGA uh, ports. It did have an S-Video port, which uh, I don't know if you can get, you can get a TV with an S-Video uh, attachment to it anymore. So that is well disclosed in that uh, in that listing. This one though does have everything. I assume this is probably going to work. They usually do. We'll figure that out. If uh, if not, well, it'll go somewhere other than eBay or it'll go for just parts. But again, five dollars for that, and we'll get about thirty-five, assuming it works. We pick this up. It's a bullseye putter. Anybody that's been around golf for a long time recognizes those. Um, I don't know that anybody actually uses these anymore other than maybe some old-timers. Um, but I got this for $2. It sold for $20. The black one apparently goes for a little bit more than, uh, than the gold one. Um, kind of a nice little throwback there. We picked up this Lego ET. Now this one surprised the heck out of me. Now it does have a little box damage back here, right where that... Uh, goes across where, where everything joins together there. If this were in perfect shape, it'd go for about 50 or $60. I paid a buck for it. For the sake of today, I'm gonna to say 35. I'm gonna look into that a little bit more, see if I can get a bit more for that. But uh, I think 35 is probably a good fair number to put on it for today's purposes. Same place as that, we picked up some video games. More video games than golf this week. We paid $12 for this whole stack. There are eight of them there. Um, go over them one at a time here real quick. This one, uh, Ratchet and Clank, that'll go for about 14. This is all plus shipping. 
Fallout 4 Game of the Year edition. That'll go for about $15. Rocket League, Xbox One. That'll go for about $10. Borderlands, the handsome collection. I don't know what's handsome about that guy. Uh, but anyway, that will go for about $6. I'd never seen this one before. Friday the 13th, the game for Xbox One. And that's a $16 game right there. Star Wars Battlefront. And this is, I thought there was a special edition on that. I guess not. Uh, it's Xbox One. Um, that one will go for about $6. Nothing special there, obviously. Another Xbox One game, Fallout 76. Uh, that one was a little better than I expected. Um, No, it wasn't. That one's about $5. We got uh, an Xbox 360 game. This is uh, Skyrim. It has no manual with it. Uh, it'll go for about 12 bucks. So that uh, $12, assuming all those prices are right, and I do believe they are, it's about $84. That's, uh, that's a good little pickup for me. Uh, after that, we're looking at this. A Wii U. Gamepad with the uh, the charging mount. I don't have the. Well, it did not come with the cords. I've got the cords here uh, so that I can test it. I'll have to order a new cord. I was in this for ten bucks. Um, it ought to go for about a hundred. Actually, I'm seeing comps anywhere about sixty to one hundred and forty. I'll have to figure out what the difference is there. Maybe it's the uh, the model number. Um, but I'm going to call it a hundred for for these purposes today. I'm in at ten now. It'll probably be another. Uh, Ten dollars for the uh, for the uh, charging cord. We picked up a Kinect sensor. Again, something that isn't tested, uh, but it looks like it's in good shape. I do have the Xbox 360 here to test that with, and uh, that we were in for ten dollars, and it'll bring about forty. Again, assuming it works, and I, I do think it probably will. There's no nothing that makes it look like it's been damaged. This one's kind of fun. It's got this kind of cardboard box with it, but it appears to be new in an open box. I mean, even that's still in the plastic. There are no signs of wear on this anywhere. It doesn't look like the, well, the, the, the bolts that hold it all together are still in a plastic bag. The, uh, under the, under the uh, dashboard stuff is still wrapped up. Again, this should be, this. I think this will be looking at new in-box or uh, open box. Um, I'm in at $12. If it's used, we'll get about $60 for it. If, it, if I can determine that it is new and it, I am kind of leaning that way, though for my totals today, I'm assuming that it's used. Uh, that'll be worth about $150 or more, I've said. There are comps for as high as about $250 out there. So we'll, we'll see what we come up with there, but uh, that one seems to be a little better deal than I was expecting. And then, one last thing. This. It is a bunch of Wii accessories. See them all back here. Um, everything is there. You can see right up here. Wrong side. Right over here. It shows uh, a, the two crossed out and the one. Um, there is only one wheel in there, but I have extra wheels laying around here, so I'll throw an extra wheel in there. Uh, I paid, it says $5.00. You can see that on the back here. I paid three for it. That'll bring about 25. All up, that's a pretty good deal. Um, what we've got total here, we spent $58 on the day. That's gonna be $377 worth of stuff, unless a couple of those are worth a little more than I thought they would be, which is a reasonably good chance. Um, Take the, the price of the goods out of there, we're at about $319. Uh, we take the eBay fees out of there, we're gonna be uh, probably around $280 profit, which uh, again, not a fantastic Saturday, but it was better than sitting around watching TV, and uh, I, I, I can't spend the TV time. Um, still out there growing the business, these will all list very easily. Well, most of them will. And uh, I think a number of these will turn really quickly, too. Anyway, hope you all are having a good day. Please, if you made it this far, like, comment, subscribe. 
and uh, we'll see you next time. Bear down.